You shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be my witnesses in Jerusalem, and in all Judea, Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. Bless our sins against God and our name. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you, in God, word, and deed, by what we have done, and by what we have left done. We have not loved you above our heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we have to repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you. Forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ and strengthen you in all goodness by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and now shall proclaim your grace. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is risen indeed. Come, let us adore him. Hallelujah. 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 Christ, Christ our Passover has been sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast, not with the old leaven, the leaven of malice and evil, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and the truth. Hallelujah. Christ, being raised from the dead, will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. The death that he died, he died to sin once for all, but the life he lives, he lives to God. So also consider yourselves dead to sin, and alive to God, Jesus Christ our Lord. Hallelujah. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since by a man came death, by a man has come also the resurrection of the dead. Praise the God of all God. So also the Christ is always in the heart of God. So 5 and 6, beginning on page 588. Give ear to my words, O Lord. Consider my meditation. 
Hearken to my cry for help, my King and my God, for I make my prayer to you. In the morning, Lord, you hear my voice. Early in the morning, that make it my idea of watch for you. We you are that God takes pleasure in weaknesses, and evil cannot dwell with you. Bright as the outstanding in your sight, you escape all those who work wickedness. You destroy those who speak lies. The blood of thirsty and the sinful, O oh Lord, you are born. But as for me, through the greatness of your mercy, I will go into your house. I will go away to work on your holy temple and call you. Lead me, O oh Lord, in your righteousness, because of those who lie in wait for me. Make your way straight before me, for there is no truth in their mouth, there is destruction in their heart, their throat is an open grave, they flatter with their tongue, declare them guilty, O God, let them fall because of their sins, because of their many transgressions cut their mouth, for they have rebelled against you, allow them to take refuge in you who will be glad. They will sing out their joy forever. You will shelter them so that those who love your name may exalt you. You, you O oh Lord, who bless the righteous, who will defend them with your favor and with your shield. The Lord, do not rebuke me in your anger, do not punish me in your wrath. Have pity on me, O Lord, for I am weak. Heal me, O Lord, for my bones are racked. My spirit shakes with terror. Oh, Lord, Lord, how long? Turn, O Lord, and deliver me. Save me for your mercy's sake. For your death no one remembers you. You will give your thanks to the grave. I grow weary because of my running. Every night I pinch my bed, before I will perish in tears. My eyes are wasted with grief, worn away because of my enemies. Depart from me, O evil doers. The Lord has heard the song of my weeping. The Lord has heard my supplication. The Lord accepts my prayer. All my enemies shall be confounded and quaked with fear. They shall turn back and suddenly be put to shame. Glory to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. <coughs> reading from the book of Exodus. Moses and the Israelites sang this song to the Lord. I will sing to the Lord for he has triumphed gloriously. Horse and rider he has thrown into the sea. The Lord is my strength and my might and he has become my salvation. This is my God and I will praise him. My father's God and I will exalt him. The Lord is a warrior the Lord is his name. Pharaoh's armed chariots and his army he has cast into the sea. He has picked officers were sunk, his picked officers were sunk in the Red Sea. The floods covered them. They went down into the depths like a stone. Your right hand, O Lord, glorious in power, your right hand, O Lord, shattered the enemy. In the greatness of your majesty, you overthrew your adversaries. You sent out your fury. It consumed them like stubble. At the blast of your nostrils, the waters piled up. The flood stood up in a heap. The deeps congealed in the heart of the sea. The enemy said, I will pursue, I will overtake. I will divide the spoil. My desire shall have its fill of them. I will draw my sword. My hand shall destroy them. You blew with your wind. The sea covered them. They sank like lead in the mighty waters. Who is like you, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like you, majestic in holiness, awesome in splendor, doing wonders? You stretched out your right hand, the earth swallowed them. In your steadfast love you led the people whom you redeemed. You guided them by your strength to your holy abode. The peoples heard, they trembled, pain seized the inhabitants of Philistia, 
Then the chiefs of Edom were dismayed, trembling seized the leaders of Moab. All the inhabitants of Canaan melted away. Terror and dread fell upon them. By the might of your arm, they became still as a stone. Until your people, O Lord, passed by. Until the people whom you acquired passed by. You brought them in and planted them at the mountain of your own possession. The place, O Lord, that you made your abode. The sanctuary, O Lord, that your hands have established. The Lord will reign forever and ever. When the horses of Pharaoh with his chariots and his chariot drivers went into the sea, the Lord brought back the water to the sea upon them. But the Israelites walked through the sea on dry ground. Then the prophet Miriam, Aaron's sister, took a tambourine in her hand, and all the women went out with her tambourine and with dancing. And Miriam sang to them, Sing to the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously, horse and rider he has hurled into the sea. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Practical 13. Glory to you, Lord God of our fathers. You are worthy of praise. Glory to you. Glory to you for the radiance of your holy name. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you, splendor of your temple. On the throne of your majesty, glory to you. Glory to you, seated between the cherubim. We will praise you and honor and exalt you forever. Glory to you, we hold in the depths, and the high walls of heaven, glory to you. Glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We will praise you and honor and exalt you forever. reading from the gospel according to John. Jesus said to, his, to the disciples, I will not leave you orphaned. I'm coming to you. In a little while the world will no longer see me, but you will see me because I live. You also will live. On that day you will know that I'm in my Father, and you in me, and I in you. They who have my commandments and keep them are those who love me. And those who love me will be loved by my Father, and I will love them and reveal myself to them. Judas, not Iscariot, said to him, Lord, how is it that you will reveal yourself to us and not to the world? Jesus answered, Those who love me will keep my word, and my Father will love them, and we will come to them and make our home with them. Whoever does not love me does not keep my words, and the word that you hear is not mine, but it is from the Father who sent me. I've said these things to you while I'm still with you, but the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything. And I remind you of all that I have said to you, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not let them be afraid. You heard me say to you, I'm going away, and I'm coming to you. If you love me, you would rejoice that I'm going to the Father, because the Father is greater than I. Now I've told you this before it occurs, so that when it does occur, you may believe. I will no longer talk much with you, for the ruler of this world is coming. He has no power over me, but I do as the Father has commanded me, so that the world may know that I love the Father. Rise! Let us be on the way. The word of the Lord. Thank you, God. Canticle 18. Splendor and honor and kingly power are yours by right, O Lord our God. We have created everything that is. And by your will, they were created in heaven and being. And yours by right, O Lamb of the Slain, who with your blood you have redeemed for God, from every family, language, people, and nation, 
became the whole priest to serve our God, and so to him who sits upon the throne, and to Christ the Lamb, be worship and praise in the name of his splendor, forever and forevermore. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe that Jesus Christ is his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered and was crucified, was crucified, and died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven, and he is seen at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of the saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Suffrage be. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Day by day we bless you. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy on us, Lord, and mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy. For we will trust you. In you, Lord, is our hope. We shall never hope. Amen. O God and King Eternal, whose light divides the day from the night and turns the shadow of death into the morning. Drive far from us all wrong desires, and incline our hearts to keep your law, and guide our feet into the way of peace, that having done your will with cheerfulness during the day, we may, when night comes, rejoice to give you thanks, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you, Heavenly Father, that you have delivered us from the dominion of sin and death and brought us into the kingdom of your Son. And we pray that as by his death he has recalled us to life, so by his love he may raise us to eternal joys, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Today we lift up the Diocese of Lagos West in Nigeria and in our this is a prayer cycle we pray for Grace Church in Paris and ECW <coughs> we also lift up the church the Holy Church of God in the world the Lord it may be one that you would sustain it and give it life where it is found lacking, we pray, O Lord, that you would fulfill it and bring it to be complete. We pray also for the Episcopal Church, the presiding bishop, Michael Carey, Bishop Phoebe, this is a leadership. We pray also for our own parish, St. Andrews, for all our teams in all areas of our parish. We pray that you continue to lead us from glory to glory, from strength to strength. We pray that you continue to grow us, to let your Holy Spirit guide us in every way. We pray for those amongst us who are sick, the Lord, you would extend your healing hand upon them and heal them. And those who are struggling with difficult issues, and we pray, O oh Lord, that you provide solution. You would open the floodgates of heaven for your blessings to come down. 
open doors where they are closed. We pray that you would make miracles, Lord, where there seems to be no way. We pray, O oh God, that you continue to deepen us in our, in our relationship with you. We pray that uh, you would, we would be converted every moment, that we would repent and grow closer to you. May I add in the sessions of Thanksgiving at this time. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life. But above all, for your measurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies, and we through the thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only in our lives, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service, and by working for you, our holiness and righteousness, our Lord, yes, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you, the Holy Spirit, be honor and glory throughout all our days. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. May the God, God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.